Hello, Woodbridge Community Church, and good afternoon. Welcome to my office. It's Thursday once again here, and we've been uh, just working away here and wanted to send you another uh, video chat just to check in and let you know what's going on. And hey, a lot of people have been asking us, Pastor Frank, when are we going to open? Um, there are a bunch of churches, if you haven't heard, that have informed the governor that they're going to defy his orders and they're going to open at the end of May. You know, we at this time, our leadership team met on Tuesday and we don't have a piece about that. We uh, are not going to be opening at the end of this month. We are just going month to month. We want to make sure that people are safe. There has been some um, uh, news recently of churches that reopened and then somebody in their congregation tested positive and they had to close the church once again. So we're just kind of navigating through this and trying to figure out the wisdom. We're, we are asking God to give us wisdom for our church. I just want you to know that we will not be having our live uh, in-person services through uh, May and, and probably through June. Uh, we're just looking at this on a week, uh, well, I should say month to month. And that's, a, that's the right thing. We, we want you to be safe. And so that's, um, that, that's our heart. And I, I think you understand that. So we're, we're just watching and learning. Hey, but we are doing a lot of work in uh, figuring out what our first Sunday at church will be like. And uh, we will be sending you out uh, shortly things that have been approved by the board. We have been uh, trying to cross every T and dot every I to make sure that that first Sunday that you come back to church, it will be a safe environment. Um, it will be uh, comfortable for you, and it will be a special uh, experience as we get to once again gather in assembly. So those, those days are coming, but not anytime soon. Uh, you know, but we are trying to get better week to week. And I don't know if you noticed last uh, Sunday, we actually have been putting in a third camera, trying to make our service better. Uh, better is better. We're trying to be better every week for Jesus. And uh, so we just added a third uh, camera the last couple weeks and we're trying to just um, be more sharp in how we're giving our streaming service. And by the way, this Sunday is going to be something new. We are going to be offering that Sunday right after the church service if people want prayer. Do you remember how we used to invite you to come up for a time of prayer? Well, we're going to be inviting you up for a time of prayer after the service in a special Zoom meeting. And right after the church, uh, you can you can, you can can uh, Zoom into the church and say, hey, would someone be willing to pray with me for this? Absolutely. And we're going to be doing a special prayer for people as well as, you know, we're getting quite a bit of people that are um, new to our church that's actually never been to the church. We're, we're going to be offering a Zoom where people can have a, an online pastor if you have questions you want to ask about Jesus or the church or maybe the message. And so Sunday after church, we're starting our very first kind of Zoom meetings following the service. You can come for prayer. You can come for uh, to meet the pastors and talk about Jesus or the message. And so we'll have a little Q&A afterwards. So we'll see how that goes. Peter, the Apostle Peter, amazing, isn't he? You know, when you when we just don't study a letter, but we realize who the author is of the letter, it just seems to bring so much more, um, I think, weight. And that's actually a part of uh, the, the good science of studying scripture. It's called, we want to know the, uh, the authorial intent. Who was the author? And what was thus him coming forth? And we meet Peter. You know, last Sunday, we, uh, when Peter wrote his epistle, it's so important that you understand the truth of who Jesus is, that you... Um, have a relational experience with Jesus. We, we speak of a personal relationship with Christ. And that's what Peter speaks of in this letter. If you want to survive a storm, we have to know who it is that comes walking to us on the water. Uh, and, and to embrace the promises that Jesus has. Have you thought this week since the sermon on Sunday, what promises has God given you that just means so much to you? You know, Ravi Zachariah passed away on Tuesday this week. I shared about him in the message on Sunday. And I guess his family was around him and he passed away. And now everything that Jesus promised him, he is now his, right? 
to be absent from the body, to be present with the Lord. What a wonderful promise. He is, he is with God. You know, think of the promises the Lord has for you. And just embrace those and may those just be a, a calming effect in your life in the midst of, of what we're dealing with. Uh, next Sunday, we're going to finish out the rest of First Peter, uh, our Second Peter chapter 1 the uh, transfiguration of Christ. Um, our faith is founded on eyewitness truth, on, on martyrs, on, on prophecy. Our, our knowledge of God is solid. That's Peter's point. We, we don't follow fables. We follow truth. Hey, Woodbridge, it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. Uh, it's not if, but when. This will pass. But Jesus is teaching us, don't don't waste the opportunity that God would speak into your life and mine. So we look forward to seeing you next Sunday online. And if you have things you need prayer for, uh, zoom in right after and we'll make sure that we'll get a chance to be praying with people. It's going to be awesome. God is good. See you on Sunday. God bless you. Bye-bye.